after Vader arrived on the premises of the small air yard. Felix picked up his comm link and dialed a claim. He explained the situation to a claim. No one was to come on or off the premises, and anyone making an attempt at either was to be captured. A claim here, was his quick response. Hey, we have a Russian bigwig on our soil. We want to find out exactly what he's doing over here. He came unannounced. He's one of the chiefs of Russian intelligence. Director Boris Kapitnov, known to most as the spymaster, formerly KGB. We need to search for him. Transmitting to you now a photo of him along with some classified information from his files. This is all classified. Of course, was the claim's reply. I also need your cooperation in a containment operation in obtaining a search warrant for the Latrobe airstrip. You got it. Get back to me with an update in one hour. Got it. Felix turned his attention to Vader's AIT transmissions. He had no visual, but support from audio relay was definitely better than nothing at all. Hey, who's in charge here? Vader was adamant as he stepped into the small air yard building. Is there a problem? The clerk asked. I would say so. Vader flashed his ID. Special Agent Jackson, Federal Bureau of Investigation. Get whomever is in charge in front of me right now. The clerk scooted out of the chair and went into another room. A man came out and greeted him, arm extended for a handshake. I'm Craig Brinson. I'm in charge here. Is there a place we can talk, Craig? Right through here, sir. They both sat down. Vader was disguised as a man slightly older than he actually was. He didn't have time to change his color. But Vader knew the man wouldn't recognize him if he was ever seen again on different terms. Craig, let me get straight to the point. An unauthorized flight landed on these premises at 4 a.m. I want to know where it came from, who was on it, and when it is leaving. Craig checked his computer records. Uh, no flight landed here at 4 a.m., sir. Craig, it would help if you were just honest. It would make things go a lot smoother and quicker. I'm not really asking much from you. I'm checking his financial information, Felix informed Vader through his IAT. There was a sizable deposit this morning at First National when the bank opened. The amount was $5,000. Would you like to tell me where you got the $5,000 from? Excuse me? No, excuse me, Craig. Excuse me for the madman I am about to become if you don't level with me. There was a deposit in your personal account at First National Bank this morning when the bank opened. Where did you get it, and where is the plane? Uh, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Felix winced at what he knew was going to happen. Vader stood erect. Where's the goddamn plane, Craig? There are only so many places you can hide an airplane on this thumbnail airport, and I will find it. Then I will shut you down. You have five seconds to show me where the plane is. Five, four, one. Vader hit Craig's wooden desk at full force with both hands, and it cracked in two. The papers on either side of the desk slid inward, causing a noisy paper avalanche. Felix spoke. From the sat pictures, it looks like the biggest bunker has the plane in it. Walk out of the building so I can see you, then I will walk you to it from there. Felix guided the satellite, controlling it from his 100 gigahertz laptop computer with a full 60 gigabytes of random access memory. A claim already has the local police on their way with a warrant to search the premises. Vader stormed out of the small shack onto the runway. Where is it? Vader asked into the air. Turn to your right and walk forward. Vader did so. All the way down on the end... On your left. Craig came running out after Vader. Behind I, I hear him, Felix. I want to see a warrant, Craig screamed. Vader did not turn around. Craig ran up to Vader from behind, still yelling. When the other man was three feet from him, Vader spun around and aimed. He sprayed an anti-vision chemical into Craig's face. Craig grabbed his eyes as Vader stepped out of the way of the bull charge. A few steps after Craig stumbled past Vader, he fell onto the runway, still holding his eyes. Vader stepped over him and continued to walk to the last bunker. He knew the spray put Craig's eyes on fire, but the pain was temporary and would leave no permanent damage. As Vader approached the bunker, he pulled out his Tracer 34X, a handgun like no other. The door was locked. 
Vader put the tracer back inside his jacket and pulled out the Rex. One shot from the Rex and the door was unlocked. Vader put the Rex away and pulled out the tracer again. He opened the door. Beside the small jet was a guard reaching for his gun, which lay atop a large piece of machinery. The guard grabbed the gun and fired twice. But Vader was out of the doorway by the time the bullets arrived. The guard grabbed the machine gun from off a metal counter and began running after Vader. The guard quickly peered around the door to rule out an ambush before he left the safety of the bunker. Darting around the corner, he saw Vader rounding the next corner and fired. The machine gun had a silencer, but the bullets that hit the side of the bunker were anything but silent. He's running toward the corner you just passed, Felix informed Vader. ETA, five, four, three. Vader removed the tracer scope from the handgun as he rounded the third corner of the small rectangular bunker. He raced back toward the entrance side. Vader then eased his wrist around the corner with the tracer scope held tightly in his hand. The machine gunner sprinted toward him. His body still hidden around the corner, Vader checked the tracer. The light on the barrel had turned green meaning the scope had picked up and locked onto the primary heat source. Vader walked inside the bunker and fired the tracer out of the door. The tracer missile turned the corner out of the doorway, turned the next corner and struck the machine gunner before he could even see what hit him. Still inside the bunker, Vader heard the screaming. He fired another round from the tracer. It followed the same path, faster this time and with more accuracy. The gunner fell silent mid-scream at last, relieved of his pain. He's finished! Felix remarked. Splendid execution. No pun intended. Where is Craig? Felix zoomed out on the satellite image. Still on the runway yelping and wailing like an obstreperous siren, he has also dispersed a maelstrom of outcries in relation to your affiliation with your mother. Felix zoomed out further until he could see the roofs of the surrounding buildings. The local police will be arriving shortly. Guess I'd better clean up. As Vader left the bunker, he looked up toward the sky grinned at Felix. He rounded the corner and spotted the dead machine gunner. Slowly, he donned a pair of latex gloves. With sure fingers, he felt carefully inside the man's chest and pulled out both the tracer bullets, then collected both of the shells. To the world, the weapon did not exist, nor did he. With the clean glove, he pulled off the bloody one and placed it in a plastic bag, then dropped the clean one in on top of the first. He sealed the bag and placed it in his jacket. Vader stood, composed himself, and walked toward the helicopter. Felix, give a claim the clean version of what happened. Have him impound the plane and arrest Craig and his employees. I assume you've already snapped a picture of the bunker sentry over there in timeout. That's affirmative. Well, I'm out of here. My work is done. <laughs>